so one of our main projects here is uh, data collection using UAVs. Uh, we use UAVs because it allows us to create uh, look, collect data in a large scale basis. Uh, with comparison to handheld devices where we can only get tree by tree and it takes a lot of time. So we use UAVs for uh, large scale data collection. Uh, the goal of this research is to uh, detect diseases in, it, in its early stage and take care of the trees before the disease affects the whole tree. So we are getting an advantage here because we are identifying the disease even before the symptoms start to show up, which means the disease has not yet gone through the whole tree or the leaf or the fruit. So once we have that information beforehand, we can take preventive measures, stop the disease from affecting other parts of the grove or other parts of the tree so that we can just get the disease eliminated from the tree or the system of trees there. Uh, we have different sensors equipped with the drones like a regular camera, a thermal camera, a multispectral camera, and a hyperspectral camera. So our main goal is to use the hyperspectral camera for early disease detection. Uh, so what makes it special is it's a much more complex system than the cameras, the other cameras we have. So what we do is we collect hyperspectral data with the UAVs and uh, we create spectral signature of a tree which is affected with a disease and we compare that with of a healthy tree. So uh, our goal is to find the bands where we can um, get the comparison for a healthy and a diseased tree for a particular disease. Say, uh, for example, citrus green disease. So there might be a band for that, like from 600 to 700 nanometers, you're going to see the differences between healthy and uh, disease tree. So that's where that's what we are looking at, and right now the results are looking good. This research is important because once we have the data, like once we can detect a tree that is going to be affected, we can take care of it before it gets affected by a disease so that we can try to eliminate it before it even gets affected. So it's like curing it even before the disease starts to show up.